everybody, it's Victor. It's time to the run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. We are on a like streak streak now, crossing 133 over 150. Thank you all very much for getting another video over 3,000 likes. I do appreciate it, everybody, as well as much as I appreciate today's meme of the day because it's been it's been a while since we've seen this one. But it's the return of the Mo and Barney meme title thread here, sent in by Painter D and D W forty K. Was episode 744 not asking for an item anymore? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the claw machine kicks me out, and then don't worry, I'm right back. And I do love the little addition of the bomb that I'm bringing, yeah. Hey, look, you know, if you don't want to get bombed, you better give me uh, my money's worth. That's all I got to say, you know. This ain't a threat. This is just a, a prediction of what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. Start off Diplopia, and again, terrible tears. Back Mike to Charlie, uh, Charlie November Foxtrot Yankee. Well, we've got Holy Grail. Oh, it's Curse the XL, too. Uh, we've got Holy Grail and diplopia so yeah but the problem is that we've got just absolute doo-doo and i mean real doo-doo for dps uh 3.17 is not terrible for damage but again just another bad tears rate start here and that is it, it just cripples your early game dps like if we like the perfect thing to get here would be like wire coat hanger or squeezy or something like that um we do get two keys and a bomb so it's you know it's, it's not a tears upgrade but you know it's it's more than what we put in. That's that's the only thing that matters. Uh, but obviously, with us having a decent amount of movement speed and flying to start off with, our mobility is going to be good. We shouldn't take any damage, especially in a room as easy as this. But sometimes the Isaac heads love to pre-fire, which is a lot of fun. And sometimes we just can't get out of the way in time. So flying is going to be it's it's going to be useful. Um, again, we need to utilize that to the best of our ability, and we have to get a devil deal here uh, because I, I, if we're gonna it comes down to the whole notion of if we are going to not hit very fast, we need to hit very hard um, to compensate. And uh, right now, we're not doing either. Uh, we're not hitting fast or hard. So, you know, getting in focus with what we need immediately here is going to be imperative uh, that we understand the situation that we're in because we can let easily lose this half soul heart to basically any mob in the game. And... Uh, not getting a devil deal here is just not an option. Um, especially with us having Diplopia, it's not going to cost us any HP. Um, but we're just going to have to make do with what it, with, with what we got here. So as a Vortex Champion Spider, we do not want anywhere near that when it jumps because obviously the, uh, I want to get sucked in there. But thankfully, we've got flying, so we shouldn't have a problem. You just never know, man. Like the Vortex the vortex uh, mobs here. Or not, no, the, this is the this is the repel. This is the repeller, uh, not the vortex. So never mind. We're good. We're fine. Okay. Go fight the boss. I think it's smart to now. We do have a decent start, um, starting amount of HP. Um, a little bit short sighted there. I could have gone back to get Mr. Boom and uh, fought Little Horn here, but since I mean since the game already presented the bosses here, I'm not going to turn this down and uh, risk losing this soul heart. Our, we're 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 better taking our chances now than than you know, like going through the rest of a level, looking for the item room. And, uh, you know, making it possibly difficult, more difficult on ourselves than it already is. The deflection there of the troll bomb. I was hoping I was going to be able to hit Little Horn with that. And again, this is just one of those times where we just, we got to stay focused here. Slow and steady wins, wins the race. And, uh, you know, this is the time where we've got to really focus hard on it taking good mobility moves, um, you know, high percentage shots without us having to really worry too much about making connections because um, our shot speed is actually quite good, but we still want to, we still want to up our shot efficiency as fast as much as possible. Just because again, we're not, we're hitting so infrequently that it's going to be very, very important um, that we don't waste any of our uptime on targets. That includes missing shots. We don't want to, we don't want to miss any, any shots as possible, but again, shot speed is going to help us out greatly with that. And we've got to hope for a tears up. You see me? You saw me miss that dark matter ball right there. That could have easily taken up our soul heart if I wasn't careful. So that's what I'm talking about. Like we're we, we need to be able to fire a lot faster than this. So uh, safety pin is not going to be it. Now we can't go get Mr. Boom because essentially, uh, oh god, it's Green Duke. We can't get Mr. Boom because we need Diplopia here. But we do have six bombs, so I don't really want a black heart bomb green dookie but i will if i have to preferably just use a bomb here and blow him up 
That way he didn't have to, uh, he didn't get a chance to, to move the bomb at all. We gotta contend with the flies. That one immortal fly there, we need to split first. There we go. So again, more shot speed's fine, but we need, we need tears. And that is not tears. Oh boy. Alrighty. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go find that item room. And uh, are we are we due for another struggle bus here? Cause man, I mean we don't we don't have. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. We don't have Esau Jr. to bail us out here. Um, so yeah, this is what this is what yesterday's run could have looked like if we didn't get Esau Jr. So buckle up, folks. Cause uh, yeah, if we're if we're already struggling to to meet this this sort of damage demand here, it's not going to be a fun time. It's gonna be it, we're it's immediate struggle bus territory. And again, I, I reiterate this every single time that we get to this level of bad uh, for stats when it comes to tears. Bad tears will kill you fast. Bad tears will kill you faster than bad damage ever will. A million times over. If you can't effectively kill enemies, you will not win a run, period. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how good you are at the game, eventually the game is going to chip damage away you enough to where you just will not survive. And this room is a very big evidence to that fact. Little Monstro, Little Monstro is going to help us out. Gives us a crawl space. Might as well use and also a chariot card, which we can maybe use for some money. And yeah. So unicorn stump is in there, but we don't have an orbital. Yeah, 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 yeah. These single items, single item rooms, man, they will be the death of me. I'm going to buy Sackhead just because it is it is going to be necessary. I mean, it's not that Sackhead is a bad item or anything. It's just that, man, what a disappointment of a first floor. Like, we could have we could have left here with Diplopia, or we could have left here with the Unicorn Stump and a whole bunch of really good items from the store, but instead, the game decided to, uh, to give us a one-item store. So... We, as unfortunately, we're going to have to stick with Diplopia here. And I say unfortunately because Unicorn Stump does make a lot of sense. Um, but Diplopia, we're going to need it. And, uh, you know, not taking not one but two items from our item room is... I mean, could we take little... Could we take Sister Maggie? Yes, we could. Um, but with Little Monstro now, we don't really have to do that. And I don't want to get con conjoined here because we don't have any damage to go around. So... And Curse of the XL is certainly not what we wanted to see on the first floor. But if we are going to get an XL floor, I guess this is the only time that we would even really care for it. I don't have patience for this. Now, had we gotten an orbital, that would have been completely different. I would have taken Unicorn Stump at, like, 100%. And we then we have no problems at all with damage. Uh, but we didn't get an orbital for once... You know, of course, we didn't know that we needed an orbital until we'd seen Unicorn Stump. Um, showing you how we're utilizing flying here. And we cannot go into the curse room now. We took that one little hit because we don't have any HP to give up currently. And I don't want to give up a full Soul Heart's worth. Even though it's only going to cost us half of half of a soul heart, we still need every bit of HP for now. So we're going to really have to lean into Sackhead performing for us and just giving us as as much as possible out of the sacks. I mean, you know, we need luck upgrades. We need we need possibly pills. Uh, who knows? Um, one thing we cannot afford to have is just a, like another couple of bad. F 
another couple of bad uh, item rooms. Golden Razor Blade would be a damage upgrade at the cost of five cents, which we can use over and over and over again until we're out of money. Um, but we need to have... We, we just need we, we just need stats right now. We just need items that give us stats. We don't need followers. We don't need... We don't need active items. We, we have to. It's going to kill our movement speed, but we absolutely have to. It's too much of a, of a need right now with this tears rate. So we're just going to have to deal with it. And on top of that, we do have flying. So our, we have a little bit more of a forgiveness factor when it comes to uh, add movement speed. At least we can we can maneuver around a room without having to worry about too much our positioning because it says we can go wherever we want without being impeded. golden bomb, so there's no reason for us not to check the secret room. So at least for the, at least this golden bomb will allow us to use it on the boss uh, without us having to worry about nuking all of our bomb, uh, bomb reserves here. We're just using a little monster to kind of pepper the targets. I mean, we may have to take Magic Fingers. Magic Fingers would be pretty massive here. But the question is, are we going to use Diplopia now to get Magic Fingers, or are we going to use it for the Devil Deal? Well, we got to get into the Devil Deal first. And since we got an XL floor, we currently have a 60, 67... Uh, 0.6% chance. We blow up the keeper. Uh, no, we do not buy ladder. Okay. I raise it to 73, and then we can blow up the judgment over here. Which we should honestly play the judgment. And this would get us to... This would get us to 78%. No, it takes us to 90%. Never mind. Okay. So it is almost inconceivable that we won't get a devil deal here. Or angel deal. It doesn't matter. We just want something. But I think, honestly, we have to use magic fingers. I think magic fingers is going to be the play. And if that means having to use Diplopia to get it for free, so be it. But obviously, I'd much rather double like a... I'd much rather double like a tears upgrade or HP or something like that rather than use it on magic fingers. So let's find out. Straighten Gertie Jr. out a little bit. Try to place us between her and the bomb. Do get a tears up. Thought about doubling it until I saw the angel deal. And this is, this is definitely diplopiable. Pretty sure the rosary stacks on itself with the tears up. Gonna do it. Gives us a ton of HP. And it also gave us Seraphim. Okay, yeah. So the tears rate problem has been has been sorted. Um, that's good. That's really good. I still think that Magic Fingers is going to be the play. Magic Fingers is going to allow us to deal AOE damage to everything and anything in the room. Uh, and it also, it also takes away from our money. So one penny equals a good amount of AOE damage. All right, so crisis averted for now. I'd say that uh, now is a good time to read last week's question, question of the episode from last Tuesday, which was the uh, what is this tier combo episode that we had? Uh, we had tractor beam and <laughs> we had tractor beam and Ouroboros worm and a whole bunch of craziness. Very popular video, by the way. Thank you everyone for blowing that one up on the algorithm. Uh, the most upvoted comment on the question of the day was from uh, Kevin Schodel, who said, I'm an older one, surely uh, not entirely sure when I sub, but I believe it's at least three or four years ago. They put the smiling yet sweating Bodicon there. 
And uh, that's, I mean, three or four years in the mosh pit is a very long time. And thank you, Kevin, very much for being a OG supporter of the mosh pit. We also had a uh, Toko lover who said, I joined up when you played Risk of Rain 2, stayed for the Isaac. Yeah, Risk of Rain 2 was a, it was a fun game, you know, I, and I still think it's a great game. It just, the thing that frustrates me about Risk of Rain 2 is the same thing that doesn't frustrate me about Crab Champions, which is that, you know, you can, you can make a big build and you can spend all this time trying to perfect it and you get all these really good items. And then after like an hour and a half or so, the game just one shots you and you, you're not quite sure what happened. Um, that's my biggest problem with Risk of Rain is that it's not a good, it's not really a time efficient game for me. Um, I'd like to have a little bit more, a little bit, just a little bit more control over my survivability rather than the game just yeeting me. I'd like to yeet every single one of these item rooms. Uh, super secret room. No. I want to get some movement speed here. I'm going to bomb the judgment. I'm not going to play it just because I want to try to boost up our angel deal chance. Magic fingers can weaken him down and then me and little monstro can finish off the job. Wow. Secret room's not there either. And all these all these rooms are just costing us one cent per room, sometimes two cents depending on the mob, uh, to clear. Our movement, I I'm not gonna go to the store the store because we're gonna need magic fingers and the money at this point. I'm just going to I'm gonna I'm going to concede to the notion that we are not going to be able to use money on this run except for magic fingers until our damage improves. Regular old HP upgrade, which I'm not even well. I, I guess for the trinket, but okay. I'll take a left hand over the uh, over the paperclip. So, oh boy. Finally, the last most upvoted uh, comment on that thread was from uh, Zelix nine five three. Said I subbed over one and a half years ago, I believe, and I've been running my comment streak for for 318 of those days as of today. And of course, that was last Tuesday, so that is incredible. Thank you very much, Zelix or Zelix. Uh, I mean, I, again, anyone and everyone who leaves the comment streaks and, and that sort of thing uh, in the comments is it, it just it helps out immensely. Even though it may seem silly, you know, and people roll their eyes like, oh god, this comment section is just nothing but number days as of blah 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 but you got to remember and i mean if you're if you have that kind of attitude anyway you don't care about supporting youtubers but if you see that kind of stuff just know that they are that people are actively trying to support their favorite youtubers all right the comment section is not yours to be at your convenience or to be at your readability all right it's there to support it's there for discussion it's there to support the streamer or the youtuber and that's what they're there for and I thank you to everyone who, who does do all those long-time comment streaks. Um, again, it helps out immensely. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe one day we'll have a, we'll, we'll have a, a, a streak, a streak off to see who has the longest comment streak. It would have to be verifiable, of course. Um, but I do know that there are some legit triple-digit comment streaks out there that are actual, like, legit ones, so. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we, if I can figure out a way to reward people like that, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. We'll see. I think it's a good idea. I like, everyone knows I like being interactive with the mosh pit. I love, uh, you know, I love talking to, to people. Th this, this actually might be the most active item I think I've ever seen. I think there's only been, what, two? We had Halitosis and Sister Maggie, and that was it in terms of our non-active item, uh, item rooms yeah so sharp key even though it's always a good deal not in this sense because obviously we're using magic fingers to help us out uh, I don't know if I moved left or right there so I'm just gonna go around look for the tinted rock there's usually one in here this time there's not and the double ultra pride
You know, even after we got the tears rate thing pretty much sorted, our damage is still not good. Um... And every time I take small rock these days, it seems like I'm regretting it. To the point of, of like just blacklisting small rock. Like if we need the movement speed or if we just can't afford it, it, let's put it this way. I think that there should be a standing rule that if small rock is going to drop us below one movement speed, we cannot take it. Should not take it, period. Of course, we're not getting any extra money here because we have the left hand. I'm very secretly hoping that we get some kind of guppy item or, you know, that will deal with teleport or something, but, uh... Trying to utilize little monstro here. We've got no more money. When little monstro is your top DPS, or you know you're in trouble. You get meat, which is just a very slight damage upgrade. And Juice's Shadow. Magic Fingers is totally useless now. Um, I think we've got to take the Satanic Bible. It gives us Bookworm. It gives us a HP generator. It's the only type of HP that Black Judas can get. And uh, I think that that is a smart pickup. So, yeah, because we're only going to get one more boss item. And uh, that's that. Say thank you to Magic Fingers. Unfortunately, today was not going to be the day. And seeing the dangers of having bad movement speed here. Everyone knows the dangers of bad movement speed. Like, it's really, really bad right now. And I know we've started, you know, everything in Isaac is situational. We've started with worse, with worse movement speed and been fine. But there's a lot of... There, it, it's every single. There's so many variables in Isaac. You can't really compare one run to another to a certain extent. You can compare situations, you know, but you can't be like, "Wow, you had you had good movement speed here, but you didn't have bad movement speed there." And you're saying that you know you're, this movement speed is even worse. Blah blah blah. It it really comes down to situational. What was our damage like? You know, what floor were we on? What what, what items did we have? Do we have any tier effects? You know, all that stuff. All that stuff is 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 very very pertinent in trying to compare one run to the next, right? You, and you can't really do it um, to a certain to a certain extent. Now we get chocolate milk again. We may leave with chocolate milk. We'll see. Hand, you really, you really bumming me out here, bro. I don't think we've gotten a single teleport yet. I think we've only gotten maybe two soul hearts out of it. have enough for the we don't have enough for the shop anyway so i don't i don't care about the in here. uh don't think we're gonna have no we do have enough for one for one payout possibly <laughs> i'll use it for once just to give us an orbital So it's a definitely a tough Tuesday right now. 
Hopefully your Tuesdays are going well. We're managing to somewhat survive through this, but again, our, our biggest handicap is going to be our, our lack of movement speed right now. Flying does have, as we talked about at the beginning of this episode, it does have a little bit of compensation factor there with us being able to be a little bit more maneuverable, but that only works to a certain extent. I'm going to begrudgingly take the negative here. And I think that Bloody Lust is a good pickup. I don't care about bad PhD. We cannot afford to lose stats right now. We should probably abandon the left hand at this point. But at the same time, it's like we're are, what what are we gonna get out of golden chest that we truly need right now? Like we don't need we don't need we don't need bombs, we don't need keys. Money is is of no factor right now. So I guess I guess there isn't really a reason to get rid of the, of the left hand at this point, because at least the left hand can give us soul hearts, which it hasn't been doing. But it can. It gives us more soul hearts than golden chest. Remember, every time we take damage here with Bloody Lust, we're going to gain damage. Skeleton Key, which is a very rare item that we'll take. Death card. So, I think at this point, we cannot reliably turn into Black Judas. I think that Black Judas is better used for a an insurance policy i don't remember if we've used a satanic bible or not on this floor i think we did mm. fallen is gonna be a devil do item anyway Stone bombs and Jello and Book of the Dead. Yep. Definitely, tar it's it's tough out here today, Sarge. It's real tough. You know, there are. There's always hindsight. You could always say, well, you could have taken Demon Baby. You could have taken Mr. Maggie. Your DPS wouldn't be so bad. Take Brimstone Bombs and use them for offense. It's like, okay, but like, you know, what happens if we get a Devil Deal here and we don't have enough HP for it? No, I would rather not have Brimstone Bombs and not have to struggle with the idea of turning into Black Jesus forcibly. Forcibly. Because I decided to take Brimstone Bombs, which is something that we just don't need right now. Brimstone Bombs don't help us in this situation. I'm going to take Nine Lives now, even though it supersedes uh, Black Judas, I believe. We're getting a lot of chests dropping, but the problem is that they're not they're not giving us I mean we did get nine lives for free. So can't complain about that. And the Satanic Bible was keeping us afloat for now. Alright. There's the entire map, everybody. Now let's go over to the right side. Which is the correct side. Certainly not the side that we went to. All right. How does he do it? 
just we're striking all the bingo cards today here. No, our damage, our DPS is not. First time for the second time. Th this might be one of the trolliest runs I think I've ever seen. We've we've seen we've seen at least at least six active items in our item rooms. We've seen uh, cursed eye not once but twice, and uh, yeah, and we we are we're we're surviving. Now, eventually, we're going to take enough damage to where Bloody Lust is going to make our DPS look somewhat solid. Um, and maybe that's just the whole point of this, is just to get as, just to crew as much damage as possible through uh, Bloody Lust. Maybe we can see Cursed Eye for a third time. Wouldn't that be neat? I can Guppy item. <laughs> we're going to get, we're going to get a Devil Deal as Guppy. Here we go. Get it rocking here. Just right now, it's just hold on for dear life. Double stuff, double soul heart payout from a tinted rock. From a single tinted rock is very rare, but very welcome. All right, we're making it, making it work, Mosh Pit. It's a uh, it's a struggle bus, but we're getting there. I know based on our HP, it doesn't look like a struggle bus here, but it is definitely a struggle bus. A little bit of black heart damage in there with mother. And we do get Guppy, and thank the good dude upstairs, we get the mark, which is gonna get us back to our starting eight our starting movement speed, but we do get Guppy, and that's a huge help. All right, slowly, slowly, slowly building our confidence back. Got the left hand still. The left hand is probably still going to be pretty useful. Even though we haven't been getting a lot of soul hearts, we have gotten a few. And we also got two of our three guppy items from it. So, you know, now, now is the time if we didn't take nine lives that I would strongly consider taking uh, the L and turning into Black Judas and get getting rid of Eden. Especially with Guppy. Our Guppy flies are going to do so much damage. But as it stands right now, we can't do that. Um, I can stop using the Satanic Bible. Or we shouldn't do that because we can use we can use our HP now. What on earth is that? We can use our HP now to basically to basically fund our devil deals on the in the dark chest. Backstabber always gonna be good here. Joker card and another hero font. So Backstabber was almost free. At a 66% discount, and now it was free. So a free Backstabber is uh, pretty pogged. Okay. Um, yeah, it's an interesting way to explode their game. There's Backstabber, you hear Backstabber going to town, absolutely obliterating Stanley. Okay, we have a Joker card. We're going to get four devil do items to start with here looking for like abba dabba ding dong maul the void anything like that and we may deliberately turn into black judas on this floor we'll see for babylon the heart's not what we want pogatory mm. 
these are two movement speed upgrades. One of them's a guaranteed movement speed upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna take Bloody Gust first, and then Lord of the Pit. Now we take Pogatory. That was nine lives, so it skipped the uh, skipped the Guppy's collar. I'm not necessarily trying to die here, but at the same time, I'm not really, I'm not bending out of shape. If we do lose some lives, because again, we want to, we want to be Black Judas for the next run. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still got to get past Lamb. Purgatory, excellent for dealing damage to bosses or enemies that have front armor like uh, knights or infamies. Tears Raid still not maxed. It's still not where I would like it to be. Right. There's the north and the west side, everybody. Just helping you out so you can see the map for yourself. Now let's go over to the correct side. Be kidding me. Whatever, get me out of this. Puffy uh. Tuesday, indeed. So our movement speed is almost maxed. Our tears rate is not maxed yet from Bloody Gust. Hitting as far back as possible from troll bombs, because, you know. goes daddy long legs didn't even have any recourse uh no first emperor's the first emperor car is not going to do anything for us here and uh yeah there you go there's the east side everybody all right now we can go over to the correct side the only other way to go remember every time we take damage we're also gaining damage thanks to bloody lust so Many different reasons why we would want to take damage. But we can only take so much damage before we're out of lives. I believe that we only have one HP. All right, but I have faith in Backstabber. Trying to keep up with Purgatory as much as possible to take care of all the ridiculous amounts of uh, projectiles. Down goes Lamb. No hit him, too, as well. Yeah, let's do it. The run can only get better. Second seed. Uh, Papa Zero, Quebec. Papa Sierra Zulu Kilo 1. I'm going to drop the left hand because uh, I'm over it at this point. And off we go. So that'll be today's episode question of the day here on Tuesday, the 
the 25th? I think it's 25th. How do you rank your stats? Give me your top three most important stats, in your opinion. If I had to rank mine, how do you think mine would rank? I'll tell you right now. Most important stat above all else, fire rate. Damage, everyone's gonna say damage. Damage is important, yes. You do need lots and lots of damage. How often do you get damage like in one-shot bosses? Very, very uh, seldom. However, however, one thing that you're always going to need is maxed out tears rate. Fire rate is so important. So my ranking for most important stats, it goes fire rate, damage, movement speed. Those three, those are three stats. Now, if you want to include HP in there, you can, but I'm going to tell you why I don't think that HP should be considered in that because there are characters in the game that don't have HP, like the Lost. So keep that in mind. Didn't actually mean to use that. I meant to use it after the boss, but here we are. So, yeah, so that's my ranking. And post them in the comments down below. And remember, the most upvoted replies will be read next week, next Tuesday. Uh, we'll, give a, we'll give a week of, uh, of rest in between answers. That way people can, uh, you know, they don't have to worry about watching this video as soon as it comes out to get uh, possibly selected for the reply of the day. Options. There's options going to give us two boss items. First run was definitely rough. More of a struggle bus than... Uh, then I was, well, no, that's actually not true at all. I was anticipating a struggle bus after we saw the starting tears rate. Yeah, fire rate, fire rate, fire rate. It might just be, it might be confirmation bias right now just because we had such a crappy fire rate to begin with on this run, but fire rate, number one. Damage, number two. Movement speed, number three. We gotta go, dead eye. I mean, 2020 is nice and all, and, I, and 2020 definitely, I think that 2020 honestly got its due, its due respect on the all items tier list. But you put it up against Deadeye, especially with us having Guppy, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take Deadeye all the time. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. Chevy tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop. Fresh paint job. Fresh paint job. the loss. Another nine lives, because hell, why not at this point? So, uh, we'll never turn into Black Judas, most likely. Um, which, honestly, at this point, is kind of whatever. Like, it's just another, it's just another life. Should we have turned into Black Judas? Again, it's debatable. You can use hindsight, you know, if you want to really feel good about yourself, but, um, I don't think it really, it would have mattered that much, especially now that we have Deadeye, because our damage is going to ramp up so quickly. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, having more damage with, with Black Judas is great. It wins basically not going to do anything. I know that we didn't go to an item room, but I don't care. It's Curse the Lost. Take the mark for sure. That's going to give us Leviathan. Leviathan here. We also have pay to win, so if we do happen to go find our item room and get a little bit of extra money, we can uh, re-roll in there. Good damage there by Succubus. I gotta say, you know, shout out to shout out to Magic Fingers. Magic Fingers did an excellent job for us in that first run. In the early game, there getting us through those tough times was was very important, and that's what we took uh, Magic Fingers for. Just one of the worst items in the entire game. Skipped over the one item that was worth taking. Him. Answer would have been nice, but the way the mob flops. There's no reason for us to go in the store. We don't have any money.
can burst this golden heart just to get a little bit of extra money here, and that gives us some reroll fodder on the next floor. Sty, Sty's fine. Campus fight, as long as we get Lump of Coal is fine. Not yet, unfortunately. But you know, Guppy, the, the fly damage from Guppy is really what's what's taking us to the next level right now. And holding on to left hand definitely facilitated that. Even though we got, I would say, I would say a less than expected amount of soul hearts from uh, left hand, it still ended up providing us with the value that we needed. To the point of, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that decision to hold on to it for so long. Again, we're gonna have our damage and movement speed and tears go up every time we take damage, so. We're incentivized to do so. Again, it's, it all goes back to that concept of just, of just working with what you got. Isaac is not a game that is simple. It's not a game that's gonna be uh, plainly laid out for you to get to the finish line. And learning how to adapt and uh, really overcome any long odds that you are finding yourself in, whether it be self-inflicted or, you know, just the game just taking a taking a doo-doo on you. Still going to be important that you know how to respond to it. Don't give up. Never give up. Get a little bank shot there. Skinny out mushroom would max out our dan or max out our tears. The cost of a little bit of damage. Now it's going to be a little skewed right now because we our damage is being augmented by a uh, bloody lust but we managed to max out our tears right now so that's fine backstabber and, and back, backstabber and dead eye just making things happen making me feel all good Brimstone. Now, Brimstone cancels out. Uh, Brimstone cancels out. Uh, not Backstabber, but it cancels out Deadeye. And I'm not sure if I want to sacrifice Deadeye. Because Deadeye is just so important. We will take Death's List instead. Which has the potential for us to ball out of control in a hurry. Yes, you just saw us lose Death's List there because the mask died. Bloody Lust does not stack on itself, unfortunately. Adrenaline. You know, I think that Adrenaline, th this is what I would do with Adrenaline, although it, it it's kind of the same thing as Bloody Lust. I would make Adrenaline make you deal more damage for the amount of damage that you take inside of a room. Not floor, but a room. That way you can really ramp up that damage, get that Berserker thing going. E-Sizzle. Take the D-Sizzle here. But thank you, Satanic Bible. HD, uh, we could go back and get PhD, maybe. Might as well get some extra HP out of this. Now, was this all worth PhD? Probably not. Probably not, is what I'll say. But we did it. Horf, good. Two Horf pills. Love it. 
for D flat. A third Horf build. Okay. So I'm not going to use the D6 yet because, yes, we could use it in the arcade, but we want to use it for... Oh, my God. Look at that damage. Girl, look at that damage. We failed a 73% deal with the Devil. There's Spelunker's Helm. Jacob's Ladder. Too good to pass up. Got to have Jacob's Ladder. What I was going to say is we can use the D6 to re-roll the boss rush. Uh, and then we could stay in the boss rush, get a tr full charge with the four and a half volt, uh, and then, you know, come out the winner, but not have to do that. We're going to take Thunder Thighs, even though it's going to, uh, give us Stompy. Still fine, and sure, why not? Take $3 bill one more time. Money does not matter anymore unless we decide to go over to Old Hushy's store, which I don't think we're going to be doing that. Um, even though we have 16, 16 lives, I don't think it's really necessary. We don't have enough money to do anything anyway, um, and even if we did, I still don't think it would be worth it. <coughs> now remember, we don't have the D or we don't have the uh, the Satanic Bible anymore, so any loss of HP at this point is permanent unless we find a Tenon Rock or something like that. I remember that we took we actually took Stompy for once. Not something I'm used to doing, you see. <laughs> and Soul Heart. I feel like we haven't gotten a, a deathless payout yet for stats. Roll that. I have a cult. I mean, it's a damage upgrade, so I'll take it. And I'll just take the H. There's a lost. Unfortunate that we haven't had too many curses. Oh man, now this, now you got my attention here, game. You give me death touch with this with this build here, we're gonna be real happy. Got to be careful about walking over um, the uh, blood rocks because they will do explosion. Some of them will. Not all of them, but some of them. Not careful. See your Jacob's ladder just absolutely shellacking everything. And Jacob's ladder, I feel like I feel like Jacob's ladder really got its its also due respect. On the uh, ultimate Isaac tier list. Now, the item that we talked about and probably was like one of the most discussed uh, items that we had on there in the S tier, in the top tier, it was definitely, I think, Holy Shot. I don't think there's enough respect, even after the, even after that list came out. I don't think there's enough respect on Holy Shot's name. Holy Shot is really, really freaking good, like really stupendously good. Um, you know, there are very few tier effects in the game that can really carry you, truly carry you by themselves, but Holy, sh Holy Shot is one of them. Jacob's Ladder, you know, I do think that Jacob's Ladder is great. I don't know if it can carry harder than Holy Light, though. That'd be, that would be an interesting debate. 
Jacob's ladder or holy holy light? Which holy shot? Which one do you take? You can only take one. Assuming that you have a, a you have the same stats, like the same fire rate, same damage, same everything. Which one do you choose? It just comes down to one or the other. I think that nine times out of ten, I think I take holy shot. I think there's just too much damage there. If you have a decent amount of, of fire rate, the proc rate of Holy Light, plus the fact that it's AoE is really, really nice. I mean, Jacob's Ladder is also AoE. But Holy Light just, it, it's its so much better of a, of a boss killing item in my opinion. I think Isaac died mid teleport. Oh, this is so hard over there. There's a mine. Whatever. Lift rib. Dirty mind. Glaucoma. And sharp straw. Unfortunately, sharp straw does not does not charge over the uh, course of battle thanks to uh the four and a half bolt that a mushroom is gonna give us damage and hp okay. also gives us a pretty massive movement speed down temper card hey that made it easy so remember that's today's question of the day everyone how do you rank core stats in isaac Give me your top three. Is it better or worse than mine? Uh, no, we're not doing delirium. Not, not especially after the movement speed down. There's just no reason for it. But I'm going to wrap it up there. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, the top three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And thank you, everyone, for all the support. We got Wacky Wednesday coming up tomorrow. If you're excited about that, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so you get notified when tomorrow's Wacky Wednesday comes out. And as always, see you all next time until then so long everybody thanks for watching this video i like thanks to patrons of mine like hunter dalton bruce and c top 18 if you'd like to have your name read at the end of an isaac episode check out my patreon campaign which you can find over at patreon.com slash invicta 